I think it's fitting that we got the bodybuilding that um, bag for this. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode on the electrics. This is actually a very special edition. This is episode. a very special edition. A, this is a, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say we hit 25,000 subscribers. So a huge thank you to every single one of you that's hit that subscribe button. Do you have anything you need to say or want to say? Thank you. Uh, as far as the subscribers? Yeah. Oh, no, you guys are awesome. I was saying last night, I think it's really interesting that people actually want to watch our videos. I think we're funny and entertaining, but thank you for thinking that we're funny and entertaining. I'm just funny to look at. Um, we actually, right now, they're just gonna see it, so. This is a Thanksgiving video, but we have a Christmas tree up. Oh, so. it's a naked. Christmas tree. Yeah. It's a naked one. But. So thank you guys, all of you that have hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Now, this is a very special video. This is a Thanksgiving themed video. So we have- Thanksgiving themed. Some, well, macro friendly Thanksgiving themed video. We wanted, well, Christy has been very passionate about this video for her own Since, reasoning. Yeah, so I think that our, the majority of the requests that we get are recipes. Recipes. Mm. Recipes. And typically with my Girl Hustle stuff, I always come out with a free ebook, but I decided that for Thanksgiving, instead of doing an ebook, no, I'm just saying like typically, like the recipes that I'm gonna make here, I was gonna make an ebook, oh, okay. but I was just like, just, like why not? Here. Yeah, why not just record them? Okay, cool, so we're doing that. And yeah, I also get a lot of requests and just questions from people asking about holidays. There's a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of stress that goes into holidays for a lot of people out there that worry about macros and overeating and all of that. So hopefully this video can give you guys some ideas and we yeah. can show you guys what you can do. We'll bring you guys all the all the calorie saving tips that we'll bring with us to yep. my family in Idaho when yes. we go there for Thanksgiving. Um, but hopefully this video will make you less stressed about all the calories for Thanksgiving because there are so many things that you can swap and switch out and save yourself hundreds and hundreds of calories. Like I understand it's one day, but, but it does, it's it does one matter. day. You know, it's people, one day. Yeah. Um, and then this can also can help people out there that uh, really just let their diets just get ultimately destroyed by that one day because one day can lead to multiple days. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this can help you guys out. We did go to the grocery store and we got some stuff and you guys like seeing our grocery hauls. Uh, if you guys like them, let us know because I don't know if we should keep including this in yeah. future videos, but we will include it in this video. So Hold on, before we, we need to preface this. We are not cooking a turkey. We're gonna give you tips on how to choose turkey. But we did get turkey. And we got a lot of canned stuff. I recommend fresh, but we are going easy tonight. So, the chemicals. the chemicals. Let's, get, let's just get the chemicals out of the way, guys. We, right. we, like, we like the chemicals in here. Well, all right, next Delicious. one. So these are, um, there ooh, we go. no sugar added canned sweet potatoes. Typically I would do baked potatoes, but I don't wanna bake them. So we're doing those. And there's probably chem chemicals in this. Oh, oh, there's stevia. It's stevia. It's sweet with stevia. Oh, there you go. But there's probably still chemicals in here. These are new addition. Yeah, we ju we got those at the store. Um, They're a nutmeg and cinnamon. Yeah, so this is nutmeg and cinnamon. Um, I'm very excited to try this out. It just keeps focusing on our faces, but. Um, the next one is stove top. I'm gonna show you how to make this macro friendly. Um, then we just, we bought cooked turkey, but it's turkey breast because turkey breast is the leanest cut on a turkey. So we'll go into that, that later. We'll go into that later. Um, there's random stuff in here there's too. There's random stuff. Brussels yeah. sprouts. Those are for me. Some lettuce, we're gonna make a sour. Mushrooms, I'm gonna make stuffed mushrooms. Are you making those too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna make you guys a healthy version of the classic green bean. Roll. Yes, there you I go. Am. It's actually pretty easy to replicate. Extremely easy. Um, gravy, because you gotta have gravy with your stuffing. And it's great value, gravy, so there's even more. And then, of course, we're gonna make dessert. Look at you. Fat free cream cheese. Mm hmm. And then these are for later. Later. <laughs> and they are caramel rice cakes. Um, sugar free Cool Whip. And then that's for later, that's just Greek yogurt. I've been eating like a pound of Greek yogurt a day. And then that's cashew milk. Day. What do we use cashew milk for? Coffee. Coffee. That is our coffee creamer. And then of course celery. 
Because we're out of celery. So that's pretty much what we got, guys. Uh, now we're gonna go into the recipe making process. And everything, you if you guys have a question about the recipes, we're gonna list them down below in the description because every single time I have a recipe in a video, I always get at, or I always get asked about the recipe. It's okay. always gonna be in the description of the, the video and also a link to Girl Hustle. Yeah. where you can find all this stuff. Yeah. Now, let the games begin. So, before the cooking even begins, the number one thing that I get so many DMs about about the holidays is snacking while you're cooking. What do you do to avoid all those calories while you're snacking? And I'm gonna tell you right now, there are two things that you can do. The first thing you should do, drink your chemicals. Um, no, but seriously, if you have, if you are drinking while you are, well, drinking when I say drinking. I mean, if you are sipping on a carbonated beverage or something like that, uh, you will feel full as you're going. So every time you have an impulse to snack, take a drink of diet soda. The other tip that I have is just have fresh veggies on hand. So every time you go to snack, have a bite of veggies and that will save you. I feel like a lot of calories that are consumed during the holidays are before the meal has even begun. So those are my two tips for you as far as that goes. So we're not making the turkey, but we have already purchased one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside. This is just turkey breast. This is not us saying don't make a turkey, but turkey tends to be when it's made on Thanksgiving, it is fat injected. Like it's loaded with fat, even um, just basting it, that type of stuff. A lot of people use a lot of oils and a lot of butters. When it's me and I go to my like Thanksgiving dinner and that type of stuff, I always just try to find, this sounds horrible, but the driest parts of the turkey, which tends to be the white meat, um, but that is going to be the leanest. Um, and the most macro friendly part of the turkey. So definitely try to reach for the white meat, not the dark meat. So, so we are going to recreate some of my most favorite Thanksgiving classics. Um, I did this one year and I had so much fun with it, but I never, I didn't, I didn't really save the recipes and like, I decided not to create an ebook this year because I wanted to actually show you guys live what I do um, when I make macro friendly meals like this that are holiday themed. Um, so I'm gonna recreate some of the classics. So I'm gonna do the uh, green bean casserole. Um, it's gonna be totally macro friendly. I'm really excited for that. Uh, I am going to do a stuffed mushrooms. I am going to do stuffing. I'm gonna do sweet potatoes. And I am, and then of course dessert. I'm gonna show you, um, I do have a fall uh, everything pumpkin freebie on my Girl Hustle website. I am going to make the pumpkin pie, but I didn't buy the Keebler crust that typically comes with it, so we're just gonna do like a pumpkin pie, a crustless pumpkin pie, that's what we're gonna call it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Eric is working on some stuff, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and get cooking and just kind of uh, show you guys uh, the tips and tricks that I do as I um, make uh, a dinner like this. So here we go. So now it's all um, nice and melty, melty. You can totally use this to stuff um, mushrooms, peppers, like whatever you wanted. This is a classic recipe that I absolutely love. You can just dip it in crackers, whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> now the appetizers are done. So super, super easy. All you need are four ingredients. You need a uh, cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup. I did both because I like to mix it and they are uh, fat free or almost fat free. And then you just need green beans. And then he is going to uh, saute the mushroom or the onions. So instead of the really high high in fat um, fried onions that typically go on that recipe, you can do fresh. And we're, like I said, we're kind of going lazy tonight. Like we're doing everything canned and that type of stuff. But if you could do fresh green beans and that type of stuff, like it would taste a lot better. Um, so this is the next, the next recipe. Cream of mushroom. And it's smelling so good, I'm feeling like snacking. But I'm not, I'm gonna sip on my chemical diet root beer instead. 
So I'm just gonna cover it, throw it in the microwave until, cause basically it's just soup and green beans. So it really only needs to just be heated up, so. So all it calls for is water and butter, but we're gonna omit the butter cause you don't need it. You don't need it. Um, so this will be super easy and it's actually very, very macro friendly when you don't add the butter. Green bean casserole. Ooh. Ooh. And we're using paper plates because we're classy. There's our sliced turkey. There's our turkey. So easy. Thanksgiving dinner and under. Thank you, Thank you Walmart. Thanksgiving dinner and under 20 minutes. So these sweet potatoes are already cooked. They are sweetened with stevia because sweet potato casserole. Have you ever had like a layered with marshmallows? It's delicious, but. And I do want to say it's extremely, extremely, extremely easy to overeat sweet potato casserole because there's very little satiation mm -hmm. involved. So we're just going to microwave this and we're going to top it with a uh, Cool Whip. That is my uh, trick for swapping out marshmallows. We're not going to make gravy, but if you were, it's actually very, very macro friendly if you just make it with water, which you can. So that's that. You don't need to make it with cream. Um, we are moving on to dessert. We are doing my version of pumpkin pie minus the crust. We're going crustless tonight. So basically this is going to be like a pumpkin pudding. Um, totally gets the pumpkin fix without the calories. So here we go. Pudding. Welcome back to another episode of On the Electrics us. Thanksgiving edition. I have slaved for days actually, in the kitchen. It's weird because I'm used to making everything and I didn't make a single thing here. It was super easy. Everything was canned and boxed. I'm impressed. Thank really you. Am. Welcome back. Welcome to our macro friendly Thanksgiving. Now, we wanted again to make this for a lot of you that have requested for us to do something. We want to be very, very clear the 25,000 subscriber milestone was reached and we do have a video plan for that but we wanted to get this out sooner for for everybody so yeah, for the holidays. go ahead and let them let them see what you did all right so so the point of this video was to just bring you the macro friendly swaps that we do when we go on holidays and that type of stuff and some of the things that i just want to just tell you that you need to arm yourself with Spray butter. It'll save you a load of calories using spray butter and not actual butter. Um, cranberry sauce has an insane amount of sugar. Did you know that? Like a, like I two tablespoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two tablespoons of cranberry sauce. What was it like? A uh, quarter cups, like a like a hundred and forty calories or something. It's insane. So I do instead sugar-free raspberry or strawberry jam. That is what I put in place with cranberry because I love cranberry and turkey. So this is what I do. Um, so with those, these two things are always a must for uh, me. Um, I think the only other tip that I really have is um, diet soda with your alcohol. I mean, like just try to save calories where you can. Um, but other than that, let's like, let's dive into this. All right, so appetizers are like little vegetables. Um, these are different than the last ones that I made because I did not have olives and Eric does not like olives. So this is cream cheese cilantro salsa. That's and cream, cream cheese. cheese cilantro. It's good. Okay, so this dip can be used in stuffed mushrooms. It can be put on peppers um, or put on crackers. It's just my secret little cheese dip that I make. That's really, really good. I know. I made it. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's really good. Shoot. Yeah, that is really, really good. So those are just like really fun. Like if you have to bring a side to family and you want something that everybody's going to love, that's going to be macro friendly for you, that you can sit and munch on. I, so, I, sorry, go ahead. The only thing I, I think with those is that a lot of kids probably wouldn't like those. Oh no, I'm talking to the adults watching. Oh, this is all. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, small. you mean for like bringing them? Yeah. For like little yeah. kids? Yeah. And oh. it's hard to work around that though. Like you're not yeah. always, like when I was a kid, I would stay 15 feet away from those if they were at the table. Oh, I thought you meant for the kid viewers. Um, oh, that's. I think that if they were on veggies and it was with a cracker plate, it'd be more yeah, appealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, definitely. We so you can, yeah, you can make like a whole like little cheese cracker thing. So Good. Should we break into these? I kind of want to try them. I do too. Would you like to do the owners? I'll try to do the, uh, I will do the owners for the Trisquees. I'm going to eat them. Those are really good. I would put like some canned chicken in those and put like some more protein in them. I was thinking about doing that, but I didn't want to break into your canned chicken. Okay. You want another bite? I'm good. All right, so... These are basically, guys. Tris, triscuits are tris, triscuits or trisquies here in America. Are they have so many different flavors? So this is nutmeg and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That is that delicious. tastes like Thanksgiving. It really does. So they have a recipe on the back. For goat cheese and blueberries, and that sounds amazing. I can't do goat cheese. Oh. Cream cheese and blueberries? I would do cream cheese and blueberries, but not cream goat cheese. cheese. Everyone, okay. all my goat cheese haters out there. Sweet potato. We could we could try it with our sweet potatoes. All right, we're gonna save those for. Dessert. So, where do you want to go next? Do you want to go to? Well, this is dessert right That's here. Dessert. We're gonna save that for this. Um, so we're like super lazy about the whole turkey thing. Um. But what is your favorite like combo of Thanksgiving dinner? Like I love doing like taking, I'm not somebody who like individually eats things on my plates. I like to mix things. So I'll do stuffing like corn or green beans and then like bites of turkey and gravy. And, the like, way that I stuff. always, what well, at least after I found out I have a, an insanely large stomach capacity is I always have the vegetable dishes first. So I always do, I make sure to have like a balance of like, you know, if there's sweet potato casserole or if there's like stuff like that around, I make sure that I go for like the, the salads or the, like the green beans or something, mm -hmm. veggies, 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 veggies. And then I usually stack it with the protein, pair it with the protein, you know, so if there's ham, I usually just, I, I to answer your question, I really always did ham or turkey and then whatever veggie hmm. plate there was. So that's just the way that I like to do things. Well, that is turkey. I'm sure you're so turkeyed out. Look your last challenge. That yeah. Had. The day of. I was so jealous that entire day. Everything that you ate looked so good. Yeah. It was pretty good. So do you feel like this is comparable to cranberry sauce? They make sugar-free blackberry, which I think would be more comparable that to cranberry. That might be more comparable. But I never liked cranberry as a kid. I love cranberry sauce. It is just like my... And this is also great for rolls. You can see that we did not make rolls here. Um, because... There's no way of getting around that, guys. Like, there's no way of getting around it. One, so typically two rolls has like 10 mm -hmm. grams of fat mm -hmm. and like 30 grams of carbs. It's insane how many calories are in rolls. Personally, I will skip rolls so I can have dessert. It's all about making compromises, but... And for me, I look at it from the fact that like, you're gonna eat a roll, those dinner rolls are so small, and they will literally like not satiate you at all. Mm -hmm. You have to look at what is actually going to fill you up versus what's just gonna make you hungrier. I like saving them for sandwiches later, doing turkey, stuffing, cranberry mm -hmm. sauce. Have you ever seen like after Thanksgiving, some people, they're called leftover casseroles? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I think before. it's like totally brilliant. So anyway, all right. So the next thing, let's get to this. So this is my macro spin on the classic, um, uh, the onion green bean casserole that you always see on TV. So basically, all I did was take um, mushroom cream of mushroom soup, like the the lowest fat I could find. I added some cashew milk and then you heat it up, you add your green beans, heat it all up, and then instead of the, the fried onions, I just had Eric saute some I on top. One thing, one thing in this video. And, well, you're really good at sauteing onions, so yeah, right. do you wanna, should I, should I dish this? How about we, we do this? Let's see how this tastes. I love, I love, love, love green beans. I, I think it's pretty good. I think it's delicious. I didn't add salt and pepper because soup tends to be super high in sodium anyway, but 
tea and seasoning. She smells it. That's really, really good. And I didn't really, like, I don't really ever eat soup as it is. Sodium for me, I tend to, I already probably take in about three or 4,000 milligrams a day. So it's like, I don't just, I don't go out and do soup, but. Yeah, I don't typically do soup either. This is really, really good. Yeah, I really, it would be really good because it kind of tastes like gravy mixed with the stuffing. And the thing about like the other fried onion piece to this is like we, you guys can put fried onions on your 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 casserole. It's about the amount that you use. So mm -hmm. like a standard serving size is like, like- Two tablespoons, it's like a little sprinkle. And that's not like a, it, like to give that a little bit of crunch, you don't, it's like croutons. Mm -hmm. You can put croutons in your salad, just don't, Put thousands of croutons on your salad. It's it's you can still. It blows my mind. Like we started doing like more macro friendly salads um, when we were back in Texas, and we put like look, like we put Doritos on it just to give it a little bit. Yeah, of Yeah, just a little bit of crunch, a little bit of flavor. A little bit goes a long way. And mm -hmm. like I I don't know. I still think that like that's not something that's understood by a lot of people. Now you don't have to overdo it with stuff like that. So yeah. No, I totally agree. That's really really good. I would mix it with the with the stuffing. So stuffing, I just did stove top. I did not add the butter. I just did water and I saved probably 200, 300 calories. And um, but I think it's gonna taste pretty good. I don't know, it might be dry. But see, It'll probably be a little bit more dry stuffing without is the butter, but. Like, stuffing yeah. is meant to absorb the turkey juices and the gravy and, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I've never been a stuffing fan though, so. But to me, that just that tastes like there's no difference to me. Mm. There's zero difference to me. Zero difference. It's delicious. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that's I haven't had stuff in this so long. And you know, it's there's already so much sodium in those box stuffing packages that you don't need. Like that's flavor right there in and of itself. That is delicious. So once you get over the texture, it's not like it's that big of a deal. I just had an idea. Uh oh. Uncooked stovetop would have made amazing croutons. Probably. It's that's what it is. It's just bread. Yeah. It's, it's just I just bread. Bread. This this turkey has more like a rustic taste to it. It's interesting. Mm. It's probably oven roasted of, of some sort. Okay, so the next thing is sweet potatoes. I personally am a huge fan of marshmallows, and I love brown sugar, and I love sweet potato casserole. She loves sweet things. I love sweet things. And so when I found that you can buy canned sweet potatoes sweetened with stevia, I'm really glad you like those, because the last mushrooms I made, you did not like Well, I had all of them, so there was no chance I was gonna like them. So this is just canned sweet potato. And they're already sweetened with stevia, but if it were me and I was making them fresh, I would bake them just because I like sweet potatoes mm -hmm. baked and that type of stuff. So I would totally skip um, the marshmallows and everything like that. So, but everybody likes a little bit of topping on their sweet potatoes. So our tip to you is grab sugar-free Cool Whip or light Cool Whip. And guys, and it's it, the bam. As long, you're not consuming the entire container of Cool Whip, like a little hydrogenated oil is not going to kill you. A little bit of high fructose, high fructose corn syrup is not going to kill you. All the sugar that you consume with the marshmallows and everything like that is, that is worse off for you than yeah. the little bit of what we're eating here. Yeah. So. We're worried more about macros, I would say, because you're already like Thanksgiving food in and of itself, but you're eating it's sweet potatoes. So calorie. Yeah. You're getting micronutrients mm -hmm. in the vegetables that you're eating. I sprinkled it with just a little bit of cinnamon, and then with the. I mean, like you could even add some spray butter. Would you like some spray butter? I love spray butter. I haven't used spray butter in a long time. I know. I tell you, like spray butter. I love spray butter. Make sure you get on there. Get some more cream. It needs. It definitely needs a cool whip. Yeah, but it needs a cool whip. But it's um. That's that's just my tip and a, trick. Another a tip for me on this dish, I would add some some sugar-free syrup to it. Ooh. 
That would be Oh yeah, you totally can. Then you have like that maple flavor. Yeah, that would be amazing. I like this a lot. Everything you've made so far is absolutely amazing. It tastes just like a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. yeah. But a fraction of a fraction of the calories, so. So I oh, should we try it? I didn't think it could get any better. Good. It was very good. Oh wow. Right? You got your salt and salty and your sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a really, really good balance. It's funny because, well not funny, but the holidays used to bring me so much stress and anxiety. It doesn't, it doesn't me anymore because I understand food. Yeah, but I understood food too much and it's like I would always just worry about, you know, how much I was eating and, you know, what was going on in my body and now it's kind of, it's nice to just understand that like, even if you say you do splurge a little bit too much, it's not the, it's not the, it's the, not the end of the I think that's a very, very strong message we should also be saying yeah. to everybody out there. It's like, even if you do have a slice of cake or you have too many slices of pumpkin pie, there, this is something you can, this is sustainable. So you can do this anytime you want. Yeah, our, our message and point for this video is to not tell you you need to diet on Thanksgiving. Yeah. We just wanted to bring you our tips and tricks on how we save calories. I'm still gonna enjoy Thanksgiving. Yeah. I wanna do it. But I, I will most likely, instead of using real butter, I'll use spray butter. Instead of using cranberry, well, I'll, I'll use do that for the rest jam. of my life. I will too. And so to me, it's just default to, to do that. So look, I did a little sweet potato casserole. This is by far though our, our longest video, for sure, on our channel. This will be the longest video. If you guys are still here, comment turkey down below. I was supposed to do a lot of talking. Okay, let's finish the dessert. Are you ready for that? I don't know, are you? That is just delicious. Do you like that version of stuffing or do you just not really like stuffing? I despise stuffing, I don't like stuffing. Oh, why are you eating it then? Because you want to make it. Oh, I'm sorry. To me, it's just, it's bread. Just bread with like chicken broth and butter in it. <laughs> so this is my macro friendly version of pumpkin pie. Minus the crust, typically I buy like the mini Keebler graham cracker crusts. Um, but the top, like the insides that I usually make, you don't really need it. So if you're just wanting like a little pumpkin fix, this is this is all it is. It's pumpkin, a vanilla sugar-free pudding, and Cool Whip. Mix it all together. Oh, and then I added, you can add pumpkin spice, but I did clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, and then a little bit of stevia just to make it sweet and I, I actually don't really like pumpkin pie, but I love this. Well, pumpkin pie, yeah. I think that this is a very good play on like a pumpkin. You mean? It's a casserole, go ahead. Okay. It tastes way better than any pumpkin pie I've ever had. And there's like no sugar. No sugar. Or very, very, like oh, trace wow. amounts of sugar. That's really, really good. This would make like a great freaking dessert. And you like don't a need the crust. And the thing, the other tip, the very last tip that I'm gonna bring is that if you love ice cream and pie or that type of stuff, throw your cool up in the freezer, use that as ice cream. Like if you just want like And then bring fruit too. I always have like yeah. strawberries and cool whip. Mm -hmm. Or raspberries and cool whip. But my, my, I always like around the holidays with people, I'm always just like make whole foods the like 80% of your, mm -hmm. of your, of your diet. So like salads, protein is extremely satiating. So load up on the lean meats. Mm -hmm. So ham isn't that bad, but the ham contains a lot of sodium generally. And so does turkey. Um, but as long as you're making, you know, as you're, you're, you're drinking water and you're I'm just going to say, just make sure you're drinking water. Yeah. You're, you'll be fine. But that's what you're, you're going to be full, more full eating protein and things like this. Just make protein and veggies. I'd say the, the vast like part of your, you know, 
diet during the holidays, mm -hmm. um, especially during Thanksgiving. One of the the <laughs> look how cute that is. You're, you're not showing them. I almost feel like I need to put that on like a clean plate. It's a Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. <laughs> um, almost carbless. Almost carbless. Uh, one of my tips when I'm trying to feel full for the holidays, I eat all of my carbs and veggies first. I eat my protein last. Interesting. Because your protein is what makes you full. So that's just another. So why would you eat that last? Protein? Yeah. Because if you eat, because <clears throat> nobody quote me, it's just my understanding. When you eat carbs and you eat sugar, so if you're doing cranberry sauce and bread and all that kind of stuff, it triggers in your mind to continue to eat. But when you eat um, protein, there's like a receptor that is what makes you feel full. And so if you end your meal with protein, you won't be looking for more sugar, more bread, that type of stuff. But if you end your meal eating rolls, you're gonna wanna continue to eat rolls. Have you ever heard of that? I, I read it somewhere, I'm not, I can't remember. If it works ago. for you, it works for me. keep doing it. Mm -hmm. That is just. You gotta do it right there, we're not gonna see it. I just. She lettuce wraps her tacos and she turkifies her Thanksgiving rolls. There it is. Oh, that was good. We can skip Thanksgiving now. I mean, we basically had like three Thanksgivings. Yeah, let's just, three Thanksgivings. Oh, well, for me. Oh, yeah, for you, you're gonna have three Thanksgivings. Um, yeah, let's just skip on ahead to Christmas. Christmas to me is exactly the same. Like, I still eat turkey. My family actually does it the same. It's just turkey. They do turkey? Oh, my family does ham. Well, my family does turkey and ham, oh. and it's just the same food. So, we'll do this again for Christmas. Don't stress about the holidays. Enjoy. That's really all. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, guys. The electrics are out. Is that a way to end this video? Should I end it that way? Um, I think it's better than us mooning them. <clears throat> <laughs> like, I don't know what you're we're saying. out. <laughs>